Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, it's January, and this is usually the time when we go out and spend money to pick up the latest and greatest, and don't even ask us where we found it. But we purchased this LM2206SP, which is the same as the LM2200SP. We'll talk about that. But guys, this has more uh, torque. And this has an aluminum deck with a lifetime warranty, but you got to register it, first of all. And they upgraded the digital display. There's so many cool things about this, guys. So watch our full video. Give us a thumbs up. Again, not sponsored. Once in a while, we get something from Ego, but it's so rare. This is a $1,200 mower. And if you buy it tool only, you're at about $899. So again, guys... Let's go ahead and take some time and check this thing out. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, first thing I will tell you is this box is 134 pounds or 61 kilogram. It's got everything inside. Uh, we'll, call, we'll cover weight later on on the mower and some detailed specs. But why don't we take a moment and get this thing unboxed. There she goes, there she goes. Oh my God, it's heavier too. That, that aluminum deck, that cast aluminum deck does it, guys. Here's your 10 amp hour battery, your 700 watt charger. You get a mulching blade in here in this box. So I have to figure out what's installed. We'll check that out. We've got the booklets, the manuals, and a quick start guide. There it goes, your grass catcher. Um, you have to assemble it. And here it goes, man. This thing is a beast. Just looking at it. All right, we're gonna take some time now and we are gonna do a close look. And after our close look, we're gonna go over detailed specs. I decided to go over basics for a moment before we do our close look. We'll mix our close look in with this. Uh, so this is the LM2206SP. This is the top of the line with the 10 amp hour battery and the 700 watt smart charger. Now this charger has this same, you know, uh, LED bar on here. So you'll be able to see where you're at while you're charging. So I like that. To connect this to the app, you actually have to hold this button to connect this to the app, okay? But um, the uh, tool only is $899. That's LM2200SP, so 2200 SP. And that's $899. Now this is a 22 inch cast aluminum deck. And they are also saying that this thing has 22 inch blades. So we'll take a look at the underneath. Don't forget the weight. This thing is 83 pounds. So it's definitely a lot heavier, but that weight is supposed to help with cut quality. 11.1 foot pounds of torque. So this thing is a beast. Blade speed, right? The maximum blade speed is 3,350 RPM on this. Now, as far as, you know, what you're going to get, this 10 amp hour battery on turbo, I'll start off. They advertise the 70 minutes on the 10 amp hour battery. That is at the lowest speed. You have three speeds. Mode one is 70 minutes. That's going to be the slowest Mode 2 is 60 minutes, and then Mode 3 is turbo. That's going to be 45 minutes on a 10 amp hour battery. You don't usually use turbo unless you need to. You can. What's nice is you can turn it on and you can turn it off. So I like that. Um, Self-propel. Let's take a moment and go over self-propel real quick. So, as you can see, they got rid of Speed IQ. You saw my review. It was a nightmare. They're back to that touch drive system. Real simple. If you're a lefty, you hold this side. If you're a righty, you hold this side. If you want to hold this side and actually drink a soda with your hand on this side, you can do that. So, real nice. 
uh, you adjust the speed yourself. This thing clicks. I don't... You can hear it, you know, so all the way down is off, and then you would slowly start to push forward. 0 0.9 miles per hour all the way to 3.1 miles per hour on this thing. So that is um, self-propel with uh, touch drive. So just going over this real quick, here is your mulch plug when you're going to mulch. You're going to stick this right in the back. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay, real easy. This blade is a mulching blade. We're going to take a look under the deck in a little while, and we'll figure out what blades are underneath there. And then this is your bagger, right, for the grass. It's 2.5 bushels, so that's pretty nice. Let's take a look at the mulch plug real quick and put that in and talk a little bit about uh, side discharge or rear side discharge. So you can see here that they did away with collapsing the handle. So you now have a real sturdy, uh, this has got to be aluminum, real sturdy. I'll tell you, that I felt that. It's, it's, you know, this thing doesn't have play. It actually moves the mower. They thought about that because they got rid of the middle bar. They got rid of being able to take the handle and collapse it. So I'll show you that real quick, actually. So we're going to just grab this handle and take this and just drop it. And that's it. It stays that extended. So you don't have what they used to be an advantage. You know, it, it was one of the advantages, not a major one, where it actually would only come out to here. Well, now that thing comes out pretty far. So is it easier to put the bag on? I, I think so. I mean, again, you don't have any interruption here. You just take this and lift, you know, the rear cover and put it on both ends. Again, metal. This is steel. Like some companies don't do steel. This is steel. This is holding real, real good. Closes. It's actually designed to seal this up. So it closes really nice. All right. 2.5 bushels. Let's take that out now and show you the rear side dish. Actually, the, um, the mulch plug for a minute. And then I'll tell you about the rear side discharge. So here we are, right? We're gonna go ahead and open this up and just take this guy and shove it right in. That's it. It's done. It's in. Right? Nice and tight so you don't have to worry. It's in there. Okay? Now if you take this out because you want to do rear side discharge, this is uh, one of the areas where the rear side discharge gets connected. But guess what? They don't include the rear side discharge. This is a $1,200 mower. <laughs> These things are only going up. Now, I don't rear side discharge. I, I don't. I don't know if they did a survey, but I don't. I mulch. And uh, if I don't mul mulch, I bag. So you take this out when you're going to bag. But... There you go. No rear side discharge included anymore. So before we do height adjustment, let's talk about this. You now have 9-inch wheels in the back, and you now have 9-inch wheels in the front. They're the same height. That's kind of a good idea. You know, so 9-inch, pretty uh, thick. You know, it's on, on, it's on uneven ground. you got ball bearings. But they've got that pattern that they did with the 2156 SP. Um, nice, you know. Obviously, you have the uh, the rear drive system back here. But here is the um, this, this is the setting that actually adjusts the back wheels, and then this is the setting that adjusts the front wheels. So that's it. You don't have one on each side. So they went away with the lever, if you remember. And they're saying this is a little bit more accurate, but you have eight settings here and eight settings here. And when you adjust this, it will adjust the whole front of the mower, as you can see. So it adjusts the whole front. So this one adjusts the front, this one adjusts the back. Let's take a look at the settings and go over, um, you want to know, you know, it's one to four inches, first of all. All right, the first setting is one inch. So they're saying now that when you select this setting, this is one inch. Now when you go to two, you're at three-eighth inches. When you go to three, 
you're at three and a quarter. When you're at four, you're at two inches. When you're at five, you're at two and a half. When you're at six, you are at three inches. When you're at seven, you are at three and a half. And then when you're at four, you're at eight. Um, excuse me, when you're at eight, you're at four inches. So as you can see, uh, eight settings from one inch to four inches. So they did that. You know, pretty interesting system here. Um, you know, again, I have a camera on me, but I could show you that. Just take this guy and uh, drop it into place. And, you know, it, it's pretty stiff system. This is not no joke. This is all steel back here. Um, this is this is solid the way they built this. So, again, I'm going to lift this all the way up to eight. And the back is all the way up as well, as you can see. So, again, you want to lower it. And that just, and, and by the way, it locks into place. Um, if I could show you with the camera. So you'll see that pin down there that locks into place. So if I go in, in there, it locks into place. Anyway, I'm, I'm always trying to do close up for you guys. Now, this kind of looks like ventilation, just so you'll know. All right, it's kind of open here, possibly for some ventilation. I'm not sure what that is. So this is the new screen, but guess what? There is no screen. They got rid of it. I don't know why, but they went with, you know, this is just an LED system. So let me put a battery in real quick and I'll show you what this looks like. Now here's the battery compartment. Again, it is larger. It looks like it's larger, to be honest. It does lock in place, by the way. When you pull this down, this thing doesn't come up unless you pull hard. Now I like that it kicks back and it stays back. It gives you, you don't have to hold this. I've always been a fan, right? But you could see here that it's got these clips now that lock right here in place. So close it. This is not gonna open by mistake. Looks like it's sealed up pretty well, right? Open, close, and button, simple button system. Pops this right out, all right? I like that the uh, connectors are also covered. That's going to help long term. You know, when you put the battery on this, you see that the connectors start to show. So I like that. All right. Button pop right up. But let's go ahead and take a look at that screen for a minute. Well, it's not a screen anymore. <laughs> it's something, but it's not a screen. So you can turn on your lights here. And uh, you can change your blade speed here. That's it. Here's your power button, right? Here's your starting bar, you know. Here's your blade speed. So, you know, it, it basically shows you it's on turbo right now. It's on low, medium, and turbo. So there you go. That's where you select that, all right? As far as the lights, I don't know, do you just hold them down? Uh, I think they're already on. Okay, they are. And it's a new design. It actually has green around the LEDs. So it's got three LEDs here, and it's got three LEDs here. I like the design. It really looks cool. I mean, seriously, look at that. So three and three. Again, you can turn them on and off, which is nice. But yeah, that's the, that's the display. That's it. There's no more actual screen. It's just more of a, you know, press the button. And here is where you pair it via Bluetooth with your phone. But let me give you an update, okay? Um, right now, the app is not updated because this thing is just launching. So guess what? You will not be able to pair this to the Ego app. You won't be able to do it. I don't know about the additional functionality, but you're going to use your phone as a screen to give you more information. And I covered that on my initial review of what we know now. And what I'll do real quick is I'll stop and pull up a clip so you can see what I'm talking about, that what you're supposed to see on the computer and what you're supposed to see on the app. Let's check that out.
Now another cool thing, and I'm not sure, some of you might not think it's cool, is the mower. The new model is going to have Bluetooth. And it's going to have, uh, it's going to be able to connect to the Ego app. And I'll say the app will be able to provide energy consumption, average daily use, possibly the mower's actual location, which will be interesting, and then other usage stats. Now, weather rating. This is IPX4 rated, and that means with a battery inside. Um, and what that means is that you're protected from splashing water from any angle. So that's good. So even with a battery in there, I mean, again, you're not submerging, but splashing. They're calling it splashing. Um, again, weight 83.8 pounds or 38 uh, kilograms. And I'll go over warranty, and then we're going to continue to look at this thing. So warranty, five-year on the mower, five-year on the 10-amp-hour battery, but you have to register it and a lifetime warranty on the deck, but you have to register it. If you don't, you will not get it. They're stating that in the manual and on the website, so just be aware. Register it, it takes a second. And, uh, you know, let's take another look here real quick. Let's go over the handle uh, height settings for a minute. So as you can see, it is on the highest setting right now. All right, so I just wanna give you that look there. And then let's just lower it to the next setting and come back. So you just take the bar and press it once. It'll drop in place into the system here. So there's three settings. Let's back up. See if I can get that same look there. So it did go down a little bit there. And then let's put this down one more time. Again, just grab this. And drop it that's really that is that is crazy low that is crazy low so again here we are look at that so that's all the way down and pull it all the way up and it is real easy to do and it locks in place really nice but uh, there you go so you get three settings again no more uh, centerpiece no more collapsing handle I could swear this is aluminum. Again, they did, they look like they just beefed this thing up. This is super beefy. I mean, I see bolts and, and everything in places and steel. You know, that's why it's 83 pounds. I don't even know what these are for here. But uh, nice little system here. Here's your cast aluminum deck. Here's your handle. So if you're going to lift this, You've got a handle here if you want to throw it on your truck, which is nice. You know, again, you go around and uh, yeah, just, just a nice solid unit. It's, it's going to be about performance. You know, this is a good amount of money. And, you know, I talked about it a moment ago. They did add Bluetooth. And, uh, you know, again, that is mainly to connect so you get that information that you need. So we'll have to wait to make sure the app updates so we can show you some of those features, you know. I just measured this with the measuring tape. This is 50 inches when you lay this uh, handle down. If you're gonna put it in a truck bed or something like that, you're talking 50 inches you're gonna need. Width-wise, it's really not that bad. On the width side, we'll go wheel to wheel. That should be the safest bet. So wheel to wheel, we're about 23 and a quarter inches, maybe 23 and a half. So just good to know if you're going to buy this, you want to make sure it's going to fit. Just so you could see what the battery looks like on the charger. You put it on, you see it's charging already, and then this light will basically simulate this light. That's it. By the way, if you haven't seen what the app looks like when you're connected, you get to see, you know, that you're connected via Wi-Fi, the, the percentage they're showing by bars. I guess they'll send you a reminder once charging is complete. And you can uh, customize your charging reminder to a specific percentage. And what will happen is, it will show up green, and it will say connected. And I don't know why there's not a percentage there. There it goes. So we're 83% charged. 
All right, again, clicking in there will give us yeah, not much more information, but that is what it looks like on the app. All right, we're going to take a look underneath this deck. First thing we want to do all the time is take out our battery. You don't want to be, uh, you don't want a deck exposed with a battery inside. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look under this deck for a minute. You know, we haven't done this in a while. So here is your cast aluminum deck. Here's your mulch plug. But look at this. Look at this deck in comparison to the polycarbonate deck. This is all deck. That is great for mulching especially because this is the, the grass is going to rotate around the deck while the blades cut it up into smaller pieces. This is a nice deck. That is definitely a pro. Now as you can see here looking at these uh, blades you get a mulching blade and then you get the, this is the, the top blade basically they both help each other make sure they're sharp that's gonna make a big difference believe me but I was wondering what came in the box right so when I looked at this blade I'm like alright we got another blade but here's the bad news they give you two mulch blades you don't get a high lift blade these are the same exact part numbers they're both mulching blades a little disappointed again the price went up the high lift blade is sold separately the rear side discharge is sold separately I'll tell you but now let's measure because this 22 inch thing I mean help me out here you know if I am measuring correctly help me out please help me be honest I'm gonna measure across in the inside of the deck for a minute with this my beautiful tape measure not a cheap one but if I go across, right, and I'm straight, if I go across, I am 21 and maybe a half inches on the inside of the deck. Now, this is the lip, but the lip is a part of the deck with this mower. I'm straight across, 21 and a half inches. Now, outside, I am 23 and a half inches on the outside. If you look at the outside right there, 23 and a half inches. But I'm getting on the inside, 21 and a half inches on the inside. Now when I measure the blades, and again, please help me out if I'm doing this wrong. But if I measure this blade from edge to edge, I've got a 21 inch blade. I don't have a 22 inch blade. And some of the documentation states 22 inch blade. Actually, I believe it's even on the website. So anyway just wanted to do that um, I am very happy with the new deck again I have to use it it's winter <laughs> it's interesting because we have about 50 degrees today so weird this weather the other day it was like five degrees but much nicer deck for sure and as you could see here the front wheels you know just a good look at the steel that they use and how they do this and then let's get down there for a minute. I want to take a look and see um, if you can see any open cables or anything down on the bottom. Let's get down here and take a good, good look. You know, the nitty gritty. But well, look at this first of all. Huh? This is kind of new. So I guess that's just connecting something. It's the motor, but it's, it's a plastic piece down here. I guess keeping wires in place. That actually feels like the axle to these back wheels as part of the motor. All right, it is what it is. <laughs> Some people are like, hey, that's not a motor, that's not an engine. Um, but looking at this down here, you can see inside, this thing is sealed up real well. I don't see anything other than the spring system that they use here for raising and lowering. So that's interesting, so you could see that or the, the system for raising and lowering is here for the back and up here I guess I don't know is that a part of it I'll tell you I like looking and understanding but um all right well looks really clean to me I don't see any issues no loose wires and nothing like that again it all helps for longevity and that was a really really good look underneath 
and some disappointments as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cover pros and cons, but I got to tell you, you should have saw me before. I was looking for that rear side discharge and that high lift blade. I'm looking in the box, I'm checking everywhere. I'm like, oh no, you know, it's missing and to find out. <laughs> so let's go over pros. Actually, let me go over cons first. So this is expensive, right? I mean, you're talking 900 for the tool or 1200 with the battery and the charger and it's missing stuff right no rear side discharge you have to buy that that's weird again i don't rear side discharge so it doesn't mean much to me and it probably doesn't mean much to most people but this is this is getting more and more expensive um high lift blade is not included i don't get it so no high lift blade you have to buy that separately now, the app isn't updated yet, so you can't add this to the app. You can register it on the computer online, but you can't add it to the app in order to connect to it via Bluetooth to see some of that cool functionality that you're supposed to see that I mentioned in the video. If you want to go back and check that out. Um, this handle is also, you know, super long, right? It won't retract. It's strong. It seems very strong. All right. But uh, that's something different. Again, you know, look, they're, they're always trying to build these uh, to last. If you don't like this model, you can get, I think, some of the other models, right? You think about how many models they have now that have the retractable handle, um, you know, things like that. So let's talk about pros. So this is powerful, right? I mean, you know, 3,500 RPM is sick. 11.1 foot-pounds of torque. Now, the other thing that I'm really impressed with, you know, without even using it, is the deck efficiency. It's so much cleaner on the bottom, and that's going to help with mulching. It's going to cut that blade, you know, the, the blades of grass up really, really nice. So I like that. Uh, the screen is simplified. They, they made it simple. They made it durable. They made it last longer. It just, it's going to do its job. So that little screen that you see there is really not a screen anymore. But it's okay. I'm fine with that. Larger wheels now in the front. So you've got 9 inch in the front, 9 inch in the back. It used to be 7 inch in the front. So that should help, you know. And uh, aluminum deck, you know, that added some weight to this to hopefully prevent it from bouncing and flexing for a better cut. So there are the pros and the cons I can share with you today. All right, guys. Well, that is it. This is the unboxing, specs, and a very close look. Right now, it is January, and the grass is not ready out here in Jersey. But I hope this information helped you. And if it did, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it, seriously. And by the way, if you want to follow us on social media, right up top, we'll put some social media information on our channels. We also have a Tesla channel if you want to check that out. We got a Tesla last year. We've got almost 15,000 miles on that thing. We're sharing some accessory reviews and then we'll start to share, uh, you know, what it is to go from a gas vehicle to a Tesla. On the right side, we will put some videos, um, ego reviews, and if you want to subscribe to our channel, and I hope you do. Click on that round Tech Made Easy logo. Click on that and join the family and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we would love to have you. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.